In this video, you're going to learn how to install a free stats counter on your site. Now, a good reason to use stats counter is because it gives you more robust stats and a few more stats that you don't get out of your cPanel stats. So all you have to do is go to statscounter.com and sign up for an account. Once you've got your account, just sign in. Then up at the top here, you'll see add a new project. So click on that. Then what you do is you give it a title here. This is for your information. It shows up in your projects list when you sign into your account. Next thing you do is put your website URL in here. Then you choose a category that your site would fall under. Uh, the time zone that you want to use. Just pick it out of the list here maximum length of the visitors that you want to record okay down here the size of the log file with the free account you are limited to the log file size and IP blocking you can block your own IP address here so that it won't actually show in the stats counter when you are visiting your own page so you can just copy your URL out of here. And paste it in here if you want to do that. And then if you want public stats. So if you want the, anybody to be able to see your stats, you can click this, otherwise they're private. Click next and then we go to the next page here. Okay, click configure and install. Okay, whether you want a visible or invisible counter, it's up to you. I'm going to make an invisible counter. Visible counter on home page only. So if you want it on the home page only, you can click that otherwise, leave it blank. And if you want to use button only, it'll put a stats counter button on. I'll click next. Now there's different kinds of installs here. There's a default install for most sites or there's different types of things you can use here if you have specialized web pages. What I do is I just use the, ins the default install guide and then I just click next and here's your stats counter code. So just click in there and then copy the code. Now all you have to do is paste the code into your website. So what I do is I go to the index page and do an open with and then notepad and then I just go to the very bottom of the page and just before the slash body tag I paste the code in there and my stats counter is all ready. I'll save the page and now I just go and upload it and stats will start to collect. Now another handy thing you can do is install it on a blog. If you install stats counter on a blog it will show every page people have visited on your blog and give you all the stats. It's very handy that way so what you can do is install it in the footer of your blog. That way it will be installed on every page and you only have to paste the code in once. Let me show you what I mean. We'll go to one of my blogs here. Okay, so here's a WordPress blog, for instance. And I don't actually have to put any code on any of these pages. What I can do is I can just change the template, uh, the footer of the template. So if I go into the cPanel, then into the File Manager, and then into where my web docs are, and then into the directory where the template is or the theme which we call it so if we go to wp-content and then themes and then whichever theme we're using here so right now we're using the Santa one go inside here and find footer click on footer edit the file and right at the bottom here, just above the body tag, 
just paste your stats counter code in there and now every page of your blog will have the stats counter code on it because the footer is called on every page well that's it that's how easy it is to install stats counter on your own site or blog